Well, the archaeology project is part of a bigger project, which is an HLF-funded project called Creative Wiltshire, and that's given us some money to buy objects and items for archives and museums within the county. And as part of that, we wanted an artist's response to some of those items. We put out a call for artists, um, and we got 15 excellent artists who came to work with us on the project. So it's looking at the diversity of the different artists that exist and practitioners in, in um, the area of Wiltshire, but also to give um, a dialogue with each other, which would be so running workshops and things so that we could look at, together at things as well as separately, because quite often artists work independently. For me, it's more about the connection with the past and um, engaging with the way people lived and the way people were and the, the, the human condition that doesn't, that hasn't changed you know, throughout the centuries. It's a really special place to be. Um, I just love the history. So every, I mean, I know everywhere's got history, but um, we're relatively unspoiled in Wiltshire and, uh, and we have these fabulous white horses, a whole section of them, um, eight or nine of them. And, and we've lost many because they, 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 it's an organic thing. And that's, that's another thing that's been lovely to realise that, oh, they're not just static. Somebody actually has to clean them, scour them for the image to stay there. Um, so yeah, wonderful. Um, Welch has got marvellous light too, so it's just, as a watercolourist, it's, it's just a joy to be out. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> I think the project has enabled us to buy work of artists that wasn't previously represented in museums and collections, and that's been really important, actually. Um, so it's partly about filling gaps in collections. Some of the work reflects the Wiltshire landscape, and I think part of the criteria which we looked very carefully at, had to assume that there was an influence of the county on the creator in question. When they started going out and purchasing all these works of art, it's just amazing how many substantial artists from the past actually have had a connection with Wiltshire. So obviously they found a, a sort of a uh, creative environment, an inspirational environment, uh, because it's such a beautiful county. I. Uh looked at Julian Bream who's a classic guitarist and also plays the lute. Now I love listening to all the different kinds of music and I decided that I would like to try and experiment responding intuitively with mark making um, as he was playing. So I did it many times and I want many different patterns to listening and mark making and uh, introduce colour as well according to the music and I've produced some works on paper really um, so that and I've loved doing it. The paintings uh, at the moment come from some visits I had to Mexico and I like the idea of um, having these um, guys in sombreros in gunfights. And this went along with the uh, inspiration of Joe Tilson, who I discovered in the um, archives in the record office. And I liked the kind of patterns around the paintings. And the whole thing sort of came together. Uh, I liked the kind of device with the, with the uh, the dots, the, the big kind of frame, the very were kind of small central image. And it just went from there, really. Uh, so I started by looking at Michael Cullimore's um, watercolour um, paintings, and I really like uh, watercolour. That's the medium I usually work in. Uh, so I would thought to myself, oh, I'll just go out and do a bit like a Monet, uh, a whole series of looking at the, the, uh, the white horses, or um, the white horse in particular, because it's the Alton Barnes white horse. and um, that will more or less be my project. But when I actually went and started to do that, um, I had a couple of different, very different days. One which was brilliant sunshine, really hot. And the next time I went, it was very stormy. And I kind of began to think, well, how exciting is this? You know, and the, the, this element of the horse has been carved into this, this chalk and it's been there and it's experienced all these different different moods and. I sort of wanted to show that a bit more than just as a series and I'd often worked in wire before um, 
so I began to think about developing it into that medium. Uh, so, yeah, it was it was quite a journey for me, really, um, a nice one. But um, yeah, it did end up to be, although I have got lots of watercolour and lots of drawings, but it did end up being a different kind of solution, if you like, or a different end product than I had originally envisaged. Um, there was a, an engraved bowl by Lawrence Whistler at the Salisbury Museum, which um, inspired me because um, I, I didn't want to do a paper-based painting. I wanted to do something more <coughs> physical. Um, and I had done stained glass painting uh, years ago, and uh, so I thought it'd be an excellent opportunity to get back into that. So um, I started working, um, practicing with stained glass and uh, also laser cutting. So there is some uh, laser cut engraved glass within my final piece. I decided that I'd work with the Pelham puppets, which were originally from Marlborough, and I thought I would work on those. And so my project is based on designing new, slightly subversive puppets, had the company still been going now, uh, and building up a sort of catalogue of new puppets. I think the interesting thing is that you're not really sure where it's going to go, but actually people have responded in really unique and original ways so that the work has has grown really through the years the years project and now we have the exhibition at Laycock and another exhibition in Chippenham in October telling the fuller story so we're looking forward to that. Sometimes when you do something you do it instantly it was this it's all about discovering finding things uncovering and then looking and then responding and then creating and then having that dialogue with the audience, which is what happened in Laycock, which was amazing. Uh, there were 745 visitors that we had, yeah, which was incredible. So, uh, so that brought another dialogue and another energy as well. So I think exhibitions were good. Because you see it in a different venue, out of the studio. It's not yours anymore. You did it, in a way, and, and then it, it's the public look at it, or anybody looks at it. And, they're looking at it in a different way than you would. It's so it's, um, it has another life, I suppose. A sort of underlying idea behind the project was to engage artists more with the archives uh, and, the, and the county archive. And this project and projects in the past have led people into looking at the fantastic resource that uh, it, the history of the county is. Uh, and that have all been inspired in some way and most of them that have taken part in the archaeology exhibition uh, have decided to go on further uh, and develop the work they did for this in the future using archives and looking at history again as a source. I think people need to know actually that um, through an ex exhibitions like this they can actually go to different museums and the history centre and they will be allowed to look at them um, and I think that that's quite an intimate opportunity, really, to to look at these um, these wonderful wonderful works. I think it's it's great. What a talented county we are! My previous project as well was going into museum archives and seeing what wasn't on display. So you get to see a lot of what most people don't get to see, and there's a lot of history in there. Um, so it's, it's just nice to see what's been written about previously. What what's been made up and how it's always been quite active in the past and how it all builds up to now and then seeing some similarities crop up now and then. Well, I hope to stay in contact with the other artists because it's just been wonderful projects going on in there um, and everybody's come up with very, something very very different. Um, Helen did the same book as me and she's gone a completely different way with it. It's just quite nice to see two different things. Um, I think I'll probably um, build that into some of my personal illustration work and get that going. Um, just doing little tiny stories that are part of a bigger community because it's, it's a lot of fun and you can take it in um, some quite unexpected directions as well. Doing artwork is obviously quite an isolating thing really. Um, so you're, you're there in your studio or you go out and you do it. Um, so to be sharing that with other people has been absolutely delightful. Yeah, really nice. And we've had lots of visitors and uh, very nice comments and things. So yeah, it's been really good. Also nice to see and discuss with people how their process of work is 
evolving. And for me, because I've, you know, my, my art um, schooling, as it were, has finished, and I now work full time, it's very difficult for me to actually find the time to do art. And if it wasn't for projects like this, then um, I wouldn't have that purpose. And so, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to d justify devoting the time to actually do artwork. So for me, it's, it's really important that, um, you know, opportunities like this arise um, for, for artists in general. I found the archaeology very interesting in a way, because one of the things is that you, the, the different approaches and to see, just to see people coming at things from a totally different way is quite, it's quite fascinating. And when you see the exhibition, you you know you see this very very different sort of approach. I mean, I suppose I'm very fine art based. You know, the way of the brush. <laughs> um, so it's a different kind of discipline, I think. I found it yeah stimulating, I think. And I think some of the things within the archaeology, like the. Uh, patterns around the frames and stuff. That'll probably stay in, within my work, I think, for quite a long time. So although it's, the archaeology uh, is not a very long project, the, the work will carry on from there, I think. So it's been very helpful to me.